What are you talking about? What you talking about? Dang it. Really? You telling me stories? Eight pounds. A gallon of water weighs 8.34 pounds or 3.78 kilo kilograms. Stanley, what do you want up here for? So eight times six. Six times eight is 48. Is that? So 50, 6 times, 8 times 5 is 35. Do they still make kids do t uh, times tables, I wonder? I see, I have to picture it. I, I picture it because I always made us write out. God, we're just program, man. We're just computers from the get-go. We're just absorb, absorb, memorize, memorize, memorize. I'm like, no, man, I know that ain't, that's not how it is. <laughs> I failed history. No, man, you got to consider other people's, perce other people's points of view and stuff like that. My hair is kind of doing some weird shit. I shaved the sides in the back today because I live in Taos, New Mexico, and I can't, get my hair cut here so I just do it myself <laughs> it's like getting long so I don't know I need to trim the ends because they're a little dead they're a little on the dead side I've had a had a pretty rough six years <laughs> here is so funny I, I you know when all this stuff started with the freaking world nonsense review all of it when it all started i thought that's when my life was gonna like open up nope <laughs> nope anyway looks like i got some elvis hair going on today i got good hair i just have so much of it i can't i'm a hothead it's i'm a hothead so i i i have silly hair for the safety of others. Because, like, I flash and I get freaking hot and then I talk shit. <laughs> so, uh, I just... There's tricks I do to not be a jerk. And I, I'm not good at it. I try. I mean, uh, my, my, I'm a good person. I just... I just... I, I just have this... This anger... And I try to not let it control me. And some days, it does. You want the fan on, little girl? She said, yes, please. And she said, yes, I said that. Today's the day. Today's the day. You're a dick. You're a dick. You're a dick. Does it kiss you? You're so pretty. You're so pretty. It's funny. It's funny. And I know there's other people that have a hard time with their anger, too, and that's one of the reasons why I do this video. is for other people to get mad. And I wasn't always like this. I wasn't. And I've been through a lot of stuff, you know? I'm just like, whoa, watch things. Like, whoa, you're a jerk. You know, whoa. But, like, you know, I pretty much have, have gone through, you know, some bumps and scars along the way. I make for good stories, but mostly I just learn how to get along with people. And at some point, point, either I don't know if it's me or it's probably me. It's always me. It's always me. Whenever there's a problem, whenever I am upset in the world, whenever I am, I am, what, 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 did, how did that go? Whenever I, whatever. I am always the problem. I am always the problem. People have been telling me, you know, it's my problem. It's my attitude. 
Always it was my attitude. I had a bad attitude. And, uh. I get frustrated about stuff. I don't get, I don't, I don't, but see, the thing is, is like, I, 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 the older I get, I keep trying, I keep trying ways to, to alleviate it, to keep from feeling like this, you know, and I hate winter. I freaking hate the cold. I hate it. I hate the cold. Cold sucks. You know, I can't believe all the freaking, and it's not even that bad here. It's not. It's not bad where I, I mean, it's like in the 30s, but not compared to what every, uh, like the rest of the country just went through. I'm just being a baby whiner, baby, baby, baby whiner butt. Stan Lee is just all over the place. He's feeling fist fidgety too. So, uh, I must have done like seven, eight sets today. Just from trying to, just, I just couldn't, I see my emotions get bigger than me. And I try real hard to just stay in the room because there's nothing scary going on, you know. It gets a little sad sometimes because, you know, dogs are getting older. and I mean, I don't go on the interwebs much because there's nothing good on there, man. That's the thing. It's like, man, I just, I feel, I just get tired of, of feeling bad for just like, all kinds of reasons, you know, and I get really exhausted with telling myself, oh, it's okay, everything's great, everything's wonderful, you know, and then the days that my ego is like, oh, because with all my placements, man, it, I'm, I'm constantly battling my ego with the, letting it, because of the size it wants to be, I got to keep that stuff in check, so the days that, uh, you know, I feel like I should be out there contributing to society. I get, I go through periods of that because that's what was drilled into me. I was always, you know, you got to have a job. You got to go to work. And, you know, most days I'm grateful that I don't have to. But some days it's just nice to just know. It's just nice for a break. You know, <laughs> go to work for a break. Yeah. So. Life just gets heavy. I know it's heavy for a lot of people. I know that. I see it all over. Every I don't, like I said, I haven't been on social media much. I just kind of dip in here and there, talk shit. <laughs> and then bounce out. You know, all those people stuck in the airport. Oh, well, should have stayed home. You know? Why did... I mean, you can't get people to work in freaking fast food restaurants. And stuff like that in your local communities. And what? You think people are going to be oh so... I've been talking... This is what I've been talking about for years. You can't get people to work. You We created a coddled society. And now people don't want to get off their couch. They don't. And it's... So how many people just, and then how come nobody was just like freaking looting the, the, the luggage? It's probably a federal offense. That's probably why. If something bad happens in an airport, the feds will get ya! Oh, those feds! What kind of wacky nonsense are they pulling this week, man? Some crazy stupid stuff. Then they're talking about people I don't know, nor do I care who they are. A lot of that going on. <laughs> See the moon, and it, it, it sucks because it's just like this is just emotions. I think I'm just feeling collective energy. I think that's that's what I always do when I have. That's what I chalk it up to when I, when I, when I have no reason to to feel the weight of the emotions like I felt today. I know I'm feeling collective shit. I hate that stuff, man. Ugh. Anyway, so what did I do? I got into, I, after I threw a tantrum all, most of the, I went into town. I went grocery shopping, drove through, it was cold. Nobody was around at the park. Got a weird text message from my buddy last night. It was like 10 o'clock. I'm like, dude, I, I, he had to have been drinking. He had to have. 
Cause no, cause I, mean, I, I don't ever wake up from my phone because I keep my, all my alerts shut off because all the dings and bell and stuff is just annoying. And so I keep all the notifications off and got it and got. So I didn't. Wait, I just like unplug my phone because it gets hot. That's the thing is people keep their phones. I, I keep it charged and then I'll unplug it and leave it next to the bed. Because if I keep it charged in, a lot of times a pillow will end up on top of it and, it, and they get too hot. So I'm not going to, not trying to start a fire at my head. <laughs> uh, uh, so after I was obnoxious and lame and stupid and. I went and laid, I couldn't meditate. I just, I could not. Not feel. I just felt just electricity. Sir. And I equate emotions with, with frequency. And it didn't matter what, didn't matter who I was listening to. It just nothing. I was like. I call these days, I feel like a tongue on a nine volt battery. I, I just, there's, I danced around for a good 15 minutes, 20 minutes to try and just, you know, cause nobody, I, I don't, I don't, I don't need that. Mom don't need that. The dogs don't need that. And I just get, you know, I feel like a rat in a cage. And I and I, I I'm pretty I got a pretty good idea what a rat in a cage feels like because we used to have rats but we'd let them out a lot and run free Indian Peaky <laughs> they were they were good critters we had to leave them behind at some point too but uh mom just remembers them I got pictures of me washing the dishes sit, standing on a chair at the sink I must have been like three four years old I was washing the dishes and I had them on my shoulder you know. I just have always loved critters. Animals have always... They're nicer than people. They're nicer than people. And I don't have a big family. So, I mean, I ha I've always had a big family because I've had a lot of pets, not because of people. You know? And, uh... I don't know. I know people that have lost more people this year, though. Like, it's just, it's just, it's just, there's just, a lot of people are just reeling. And then there's just, God, it's just, just, there's so much duality. It's just all these different scattered versions of the earth, you know? And everybody that's like watching it and all enthralled with mainstream media, they're all having one reality, you know? All of us impasse, we're having a different reality, you know? There's a lot of different, just, you know, the elites, they're having a different reality. All those secret, it's just, it's all, it's all the extremists. You know, it doesn't matter how good the group is. There's always extremists that like to freaking, there's just the people in there that just like to freaking cause harm. They just like to cause harm. They just don't want... They don't have any regard for life. They just... they. I've seen them my whole life. And it's not like they're soulless. Because everybody has free will. They just choose to... Not come from their... Live from their heart. My brother has made fun, fun, fun of me. A lot in my life. Years prior. Nothing recent. But what one of that was like a a a, a point of uh, poking fun was that I always live from my heart, and I wonder often what the world would be like if other people did that. You know, I think a lot of people do. Where I live, I see a lot of community. I see a lot of people picking up stray dogs and stuff like that and putting them online. You know. And trying to find their owners, reuniting them and stuff. Fortunately, there's a lot of owners that really don't give a shit. It's just their 
just the way they were raised. Right? How many times have you... Fucking Jesus, man. You know, I'm not so much worried about what the world's evolving and turning into. Because the ideologies that have gotten us to this point, they're dying. And that's fine by me. Oh my gosh. This is not what the good Lord intended. Nope. <sighs> good old water. Oh, the spirits have been bite biting at my ankles lately. I just oblivion. I don't drink. I just like to. I just want to a lot. I get cravings for oblivion. If I could reach, I mean, I could reach, if I could, like today, I tried to reach oblivion through meditate state. And I couldn't reach it. I couldn't, I can't, I couldn't ground myself out enough. Yeah, I couldn't do it. So I just did a bunch of sets and uh, I laid down for a while. I just tried to just see. It's the whole too much of a good thing can spoil. And I, I love my family. I need autonomy sometimes. And I had I, ha I used to have it. Some, some. I used to be able to like go take day trips at least. Wouldn't stay overnight. Would never really want to. But as long as I could go there and back. You know, I could go take pictures and stuff like that. And, and uh, I haven't done that in probably four years. So I live vicariously through other people and I watch them and their adventures and what how their lives evolve. You'd be surprised how many people just do the same thing year after year after year. <laughs> But the kids grow up and they evolve, you know. I mean, some of these, like, kids that, like, are in college now, I remember when they were two, three years old, you know. You know, watching people grow up, evolve, see the kind of people they they turn into. I know a lot of pretty decent people on individual levels, but I don't know what frickin' society's doing on a larger scale. I just think there's too many people chasing sensations. That they've had too much bad stuff happen to them too and they keep thinking about it and they don't want to think about it anymore so they'd like to do those things that keep people from thinking about it. A lot of people are drinking, you know, and a lot of, since they've been shut up and they're just decided to, you know, deliver alcohol to people and stuff like that and let people decide, okay, it's cool, go ahead and let people, you know, take booze home with their meal and all, it just, you know, just... It's straight up poison, man. It's straight up poison. It's straight up toxin. And, uh, but it works. That's why so many people do it. It works. It feels so good. That first drink never sucked. That first, uh, knowing what's coming, that never was like, you know, there were maybe, in all the times that I drank, there's maybe a few times that I was just so hungover. I'm like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. And then uh, it only lasts a couple days. It was just like muscle memory. But it, it, was, a, it was a spiritual abnormality that I had. You know. I mean, as uncomfortable as life can get, it's still my 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 harder days are still better than my best days drinking. I just have bad days sometimes. Everybody does, and I just learned a long time ago just to talk about the stuff and get it out of your head. Don't don't stuff it. That's how people get cancers and stuff. 
I don't know, my body was pretty hurting today. I'm like, ooh, I wonder if just being angry, like, turns your cells and can cause, and because, you know, I need to work harder not being mad. Tucker's snoring. He's so adorable. He's sleeping on his chair. And Stan Lee's up there. I don't have my lap. There's Stan Lee. And tuck a muck a luck a buck. So, I don't know. What else is going on? So it was just another rerun day. It was a rerun of a day. Mom woke up feeling good. I pretty much spoiled that straight away. But she slept great. She went to bed at like 7. She had an upset stomach yesterday. So we, uh, we got through that. And, uh, it snowed last night. It didn't do much. But it was enough to, that when I took dogs out, this, it was like crunch, crunch, crunch. And it was cold. But I'm blessed to have a warm coat. We got a roof over our head. I hate when I freaking lapse in gratitude. I hate that. I hate, I just, you know, and, and all, and I just even, I even say in my head, Marge, you're acting like a baby. <laughs> you're acting like a child. Why are you saying, you know? Nope. Still a human being. I will always be no more than a human being. Until I take my last breath. And then I'll be 100% spiritual being. Until then. I'm just never. Even with, with my ability at telekinesis. It don't matter. I'm still a human being. And I've always. As long as I've lived. I've had these emotions. You know. I think it was because I. Dis my, my my theory is. I Because I disassociated so, so young. It like gave me superpowers. You know, because of the terrible things that happened to me when I was a little baby. And those superpowers is, though, is like... I don't know. Kind of a lie detector. <laughs> kind of a... I feel the grossness of people. Because I've been around so many people that have done so many gross things. So, I know what they feel like. And I really try not to be spiteful. Oh my god, I try. These are all the things mom tried to freaking drill into my head. Don't be. You know, and I learned lessons like don't, you know, don't, you don't retaliate. Like, don't try to get back at people. Don't try, you know, I, this is above and beyond the don't lie, don't cheat, don't steal. Don't, tr don't sleep with your buddy's girlfriend. You know, all that stuff that, you know, all the, 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 the stuff that, that just Decent people shouldn't do and should do. You know, help when you can. Everybody says it, but how are they doing it with this whole planet? There's people that need help everywhere. All over the place. It's not adding up. Doesn't add up. It's not adding up. So, what else? A lot of truths being revealed. More of this stuff is going to happen. Like, people don't know who these scum that these people are scumbags. Us regular folk with our feet on the ground that don't walk around in $10,000 suits. You know, they're putting the freaking... I saw they're putting the... Uh, they're putting the... Uh, the mayor of New York City on blast because he went to the Bahamas while his city was under a blizzard. Well, there's a blizzard in his state. Where, like, in Buffalo, like, a lot of, it, like, like, 60, like, I don't know, I mean, 60 people across the whole storm died. But a bunch of people died in Buffalo, you know, so. But, yeah, just go, go, you know, get that, get that balance Get that balance of work, life. Pick your timing, man. Pick your timing. Next time, go down during hurricane season. Okay?
Okay. He held... Okay, this happened earlier today. Because I live in New Mexico, and people have very little regard for life in New Mexico. Animals, people... There's money all over the place. There's freaking money everywhere. This place is a very rich state. There's a lot of money in this state. They don't just don't. They just you just gotta be. You gotta you gotta be the right shade. I haven't figured out what shade that is yet. You gotta be the right relation. You gotta be in the right club, like all the other states. But it's just more frustrating because there's only two point five people in this whole state. So, my abuelo was almost robbed at gunpoint. This was, um, Canon Salido, New Mexico's, on New Mexico's Most Wanted, a page that I'm a part of. I probably wrecked their name, Mike. I, I'm hooked on phonics. So, my abuelo was almost robbed at gunpoint, but he has big cojones, and he fought off the criminal long enough to drive away. He was shot at driving off. Mayor Kim Keller, Albuquerque Police Department, decided this is a priority for a call, which means basically not important even enough. It could have turned into a mur murder. So they, they look at it as a low, oh, it's, it's, it's fine. Don't send a policeman. Don't worry, Hank. Sit on your stool. Keep eating your fucking hoagie, boy. No, wait, wait. Keep eating your breakfast burrito. We'll call it a level four. Basically not important enough. It could have been turned into a murder. And it and didn't bother to help him out in a timely fashion. A dispatcher told us they cannot do anything because nothing happened. He got shot at. Nothing like what? Being murdered? It was an attempted robbery. An assault with a deadly weapon at the least, and not one thing they will do. As of writing this, he still has not had police contact. Tim Keller is a joke. APD chief is a joke. The justice system is also a joke, and they need to be held accountable. Thank God he wasn't killed. City is a hellhole and run by incompetent people. And I'll go ahead and be sure... And let her know that I shared this on my talk today. So all two people that watch <laughs> can know what I know. And I said, I said, glad he was okay. It stood up to the punk. He said, Margie held up the gun and, and put it in the drive, drive in time to get away. I said, I, cause I, where I like to place, say things like New Mexico is the 54th place state. <laughs> and this guy said the math ain't mathing. <laughs> That's funny. So anyway. Every, it's everywhere. You know where I used to live? Even Omaha, man. Omaha, like, where I lived in Benson. I mean, I live, like, pretty close to what they would call the ghetto and stuff like that. You know? But, they, but they'll but they spend millions and billions. They want to spend... I just read today that they want to spend, like, $603 million and put little fucking trolleys in downtown Omaha. It's fucking Omaha. People go there to watch a bunch of kids play college or like, uh, 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 it's the college world series, human trafficking event of the, one of the biggest human trafficking events of the year. My old boss at Creighton, Jay Rummel even said in a staff meeting one time, okay. Cause we worked, I worked at Creighton and it's right next to the, T, the, 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 the TD Ameritrade park and like all this stuff where they, it's all human trafficking, man. So 40th parallel, 41st, it's all energy harvesting. They just <laughs> suck it up. It's just, people just don't get it. He even said 
Oh, it's College World Series week. We better really lock down the wireless so the human traffickers don't get 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 on it and use it. Use our network for their human trafficking. It's like it's just one of those things. Everybody knows, everybody does it, but you can't talk about it. Don't say it. Don't say that. No, don't talk about it. See, I talk about everything. That's why people don't like me because I talk about the stuff that people say, no, you don't talk about it. Yeah, you talk about it because this shit exists and I'm really tired of these freaking spiritual bypassers and all these freaking loving lighters and all these freaking, oh, what a religious beliefs, what you call yourselves Christians, Catholics, whatever you're all with your little horse blinders off, you know, not like, like none of us don't exist, you know, like none of us, there's all these, all of us in the, it's everywhere in the news, you know, babies get raped all the time, but we don't grow up and we don't get her and it happens all the time. And we grow up, not every, not, not a lot of us grow up to be as old as I am because most people that have had shit like that happen to them, either fucking blow their brains out, light themselves on fire, freaking, um, OD on drugs or drake themselves into a freaking stupor in, in an early grave, you know? Yep. Yep, a lot of, and it happens, man. And all the people and all the kids that are getting separated down at the board, and it just happens more and more, and it just keeps happening every day. And all these people are just living the best versions in their life, you know? Don't say it's for the kid. Don't say save the kids, because people only give a shit about their own kid. Wait, yeah, there's a lot of people that don't give a shit about their own kids. They just like getting paid for saying things like, we care! How many businesses exist for saying things like we care we're here to help what can we we we're here. all these freaking organizations here to help the homeless ain't nobody fucking putting them in homes it just it the math ain't mathin talk about the math ain't mathin it just it, it they just keep sucking and, and the fact that they keep sending tri- billions and tri- as much money over there for bullshit. For bullshit. And, but don't resent them, Marge. Re- don't resent them. Don't have resentment in your heart. Don't carry anger in your heart. Don't let it get... It's just all... It's all a show. It doesn't... It, it, yeah, it is. That's all true. The fact is the cracks of society are still getting wider and wider. People got to learn how to take care of people better. They're not doing a very good job. But they're going to learn because there's going to be more situations like bad weather and power going out. We're going to, you know. Unfortunately, we're coming into every man for himself. Survival of the fittest. It's just going to get real bad for a while. You know, people will just hunker down, eat your freaking rice and beans and whatever. You know, just hunker down. You know, don't go out to too many crowded places because people are just freaking losing their minds everywhere. They're just hostile and violent because every, and everybody can have, where are all these people? You know what? All these people have guns. They want their, where are all these people? I'm so tired of freaking reading stories about, oh, you know, like dogs getting mauled, you know. That was on that, like, like uh, somebody was letting the public know if you have a little white fluffy dog, there's like five dogs mauling it right now, and it's horrific to watch. Where are the freaking go- see? Because packs of dogs around here is just it's insane. What packs of dogs can do? People don't understand pack mentality, and people have that too. People don't get it. We are animals. We are just supposed to be the smarter species because we have thumbs. And we can process thought. And we can have logic and reason things out. Right? We're supposed to be the freaking custodians of the earth. What do they do? People come up with APOs and third quarter innings and all this reindeer game bullshit. And they just want... All everybody to buy into it because they believe into it, in it, and it's nonsense. 
The whole stock exchange, all of it, it's nonsense. None of it's going to matter. None of it. As soon as, boom, one, boom. One solar blast, boom, nothing. Now what? People are going to still go to work every day. Oh, the sun has the sun it doesn't seem to be out today. Nope, not today. Probably won't be out till tomorrow either. Not on the coast because when the oceans... God, I don't want to see the ocean sloshed around, man. I hope I, I, I don't really think I want to be on this planet for that stuff. I really don't think... I think I've seen enough. I think I've seen civilization fall in the country in which I live. Because the people that run this country are not... They, they are not civilized. They are not respectable people. They don't do respectable things. And the people that once did, the people that once, like, we were taught to look and respect, look up to and respect and just obey and listen to the police. You know, Dr. Do or Officer Don Ostendorf, he was the guy that would go all around all the elementary schools and sing about the peanut on the train track because police are just good old guys. No. That was not my experience that I had in later in life. Nope. A lot of really indecent people in the police force. A lot of assholes. A lot of people that are freaking dicks to their kids. Then their dicks, their kids grow up and then they're freaking assholes. It's just the whole cycle thing. But of course, they're still the good ones. The good ones that can't even tell that their co-workers are scumbags. So they're good guys and they're good at patrolling, but they can't can figure shit out as we well know in Idaho, Moscow, Idaho, as we well know. It's freaking, it's, it, it, how embarrassing, man. Those guys, I, 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 I don't know. I, if I was a freak, I, I would have to, I, I could, uh, nope, nope. That, they can't even, uh, nope. And it's everywhere. It's not just there. It's Redding, California. It's, it's Albuquerque. It's New York. It's Omaha. It's all these guys get all this gear, all this gear, these big old uniforms, all this gear, their SUVs to drive around in, and they go when they feel like it. Yep. They do what they, it's always, it's, it's like that all the time. You know, like, you know, the call centers, the call centers with really, really high call volumes. It's like four people sitting in an office and they're, and, and, and three of them have, like busy on because they don't feel and they're like watching youtube videos and then you have the one that's like fucking i'll answer it god hello it <laughs> that's the stuff that really goes i mean well you think people are just like sitting at their desk all day for eight hours just i'm gonna do my job i'm gonna do everything i get paid for no people do as little amount as possible and to try and get it paid as much as possible. With all of the experience that I've had in all the career field. From doctors. And universities. I mean there's a lot of centers of the universe on this planet. So how is there room for the rest of us little folk? I don't know. I just don't know. Hi PETA. Anyway. I'm done running my mouth. I wasn't going to do a talk. I wasn't going to do one at all. Uh, I'm trying to be. What's that word? What is that word? I'm trying to be accountable. I'm trying to be. So. That's what I'm trying to be. So here I am. Talking about. Acting in ways I'm not proud of. Because I'm a human being. The good news is, there's always a bright side. There's always a silver lighting. There's always a new day until the sun goes out. <laughs> oh my god, the impending doom is weighing on me. That's about all I got now. For now, I hope you have a rad day. Peace.